Hey everyone, it's Peek. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at the best ways to earn Nook Miles in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, Nook Miles allow you to do a lot of things in game. They allow you to unlock new hairstyles, new hair colors, new tools, all sorts of different things. You can also get some very, very cool looking furniture and clothing and just a ton of stuff with Nook Miles. Now there are a few ways to accrue Nook Miles and we want to go over all of those in this video. A lot of these involve just playing the game daily, kind of showing up to your island, talking to villagers, getting some requests done, and doing various tasks that you can actually find in the Nook Miles menu. Now at the start of the game, you do need 5,000 Nook Miles to pay off your very first loan which allows you to get a house. The first 5,000 Nook Miles or so are pretty easy to earn just through catching various fish and bugs that you see along the way, talking to your villagers, and just participating in the island life. So you should easily be able to pay off your first loan like we're about to do right here. So we're going to talk to Tom Nook and we are about to unlock one of, if not the best way to earn Nook Miles in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, Nook is about to offer us a house in classic Tanuki fashion, always wanting to one-up his previous offer of a tent. So of course, we will accept this offer of a new home. And you'll see that we are also receiving an upgrade to the Nook Mileage Program. Now, Tom Nook calls this Nook Miles Plus. And this upgrade is pretty much what allows you to continue earning Nook Miles throughout the lifetime of the game. Nook Miles Plus acts as a daily times two multiplier to some of the assignments that you can find in the Nook Miles app. So you'll see we now have access to Nook Miles Plus. Your rank is increased. We now have access to the service. Makes it easier to earn miles. Special redemption options that only Nook Mile Plus members get. So, let's check out these opportunities. You'll see a bunch of times two multipliers on all of these jobs. Complete DIY products, earn bells by selling items, plant trees, redeem Nook Miles, capture a memory. So we are actually going to enter a new day now where we have new Nook Miles Plus jobs to do. You see, we've actually already completed one of them, selling a hot item for a fortune at Nook's Cranny. So there are a few here that we're gonna try and do in this video just to kind of show you guys how easy it is to take advantage of these times two multipliers. So first things first, let's go over to my little fossil stash that I've accrued over here. I used to be a little short on inventory space, so having three fossils to assess with blathers for our Nook Miles Plus job here is going to be quite easy. So we are just going to run over to the museum really quick. We'll talk to Blathers here and make our donation of three fossils for this daily task. And now let's crack open our Nook phone, check out the Nook Miles Plus, and you'll see that we actually did complete this three out of three fossils assessed. So we will get twice as many Nook Miles as we normally would. Now to do another one of these tasks, we're going to dig a couple of very strategic holes here, make sure we're lined up perfectly with the rock, and start smacking away with our shovel. We actually did get quite lucky, and this happens to be a bell rock. You can get quite a lot of bells each day from these bell rocks. So the task was to hit a rock, simply, with our shovel, right? So we're going to see we've hit it five times. And the best way to do that is by digging those two holes that I dug by the rock in order to prevent any knockback that comes from using your shovel and striking it against the rock multiple times in a row. This does allow you to get the most amount of bells or crafting materials from each rock that you end up hitting with your shovel. And you'll see now that our list of tasks are now filled with ones that don't have the times two multiplier, but still do provide a decent amount of Nook Miles. So you never really run out of tasks from what I've seen, but you do lose that two times multiplier until the next day. So that just about wraps it up for this quick little guide, everyone. Nook Miles plus daily two times multiplied tasks are the best way to earn Nook Miles. However, anything you end up doing in the game, such as shooting down this balloon with my slingshot, can often give you Nook Miles. 
you'll see up there at the top left, our phone made a little noise. That just means whatever you just did, that actually earned you Nook Miles. So you can then go in the app and see what your reward was. In this case, for shooting down five presents, we got an easy 300 Nook Miles. One more tip before we head out, you can come to the Nook Stop every single day that you play the game. And for consecutive days, you actually get a significantly higher amount of bonus miles. So you saw there, we just got 50 for day one, but the number keeps going up the more days in a row that you log into the game. So that just about wraps it up for our Nook Miles guide. Playing the game is obviously the best way to earn Nook Miles, but taking advantage of the tasks in your Nook Miles Plus section of the app is the best way to earn the most amount of Nook Miles with the time you're spending in the game. It allows you to purchase awesome items such as this inventory expansion that we just purchased for 5,000 miles. A super handy upgrade for those of you who are running out of space, which personally I found I was <laughs> a lot towards the beginning of the game, especially. Alright everyone, so I hope this little mini guide helped you. If you found it useful, please leave a like on the video. It helps so much for other people to see our guides. Comment down below what you love best about Animal Crossing and subscribe to the channel for more ACNH content.